Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. So I am gonna do a tag video. My next couple of tag videos, you'll probably see me with the same top on, same hairstyle, hairdo. Yeah, I pull my hair up in a bun, by the way. I put my little bow hickey, majiki in there and kinda of just, I don't know. My hair, I was having a bad hair day. Yes, bad hair day. It's the uh, makeup tag for mature women. Make up fun with Olivia. She is one of the ones that tagged me for this. And I do believe uh, Mary Ellen, um, Mary Ellen uh, after 60, I believe. I'll put, a, I'll put the link down to Mary Ellen's channel and to Olivia's channel. Uh, they both tagged me and both are wonderful people that I've got to, met, got to meet along the way on here on YouTube. And I am super glad I did. Um, they're both wonderful people. Really enjoy watching their videos. Um, I am total diehard watching them uh, a lot too, and uh, we do keep in touch um, also. So it's they're just really beautiful ladies. So I'm gonna put the links down below. Please go and check them out and show them some love. All right, all right. So this is the makeup tag for mature women. Oh, before I forget, Donna. Um. What is Donna's channel's name? Is this is terrible? It's it's funny because a lot of people I know them by their name and I, I can picture because like Donna I think Donna has these gorgeous eyes I really do. I will put um, put her channel down below. Um, I just cannot think, but I will have a link to her channel below. She is the one that actually came up and kind of put this uh, tag together. So wanted to mention that and she is also a wonderful lady so please go check her out as well so all right question number one how old were you when you started wearing makeup actually I was about 12 I believe I was about 12 years old um, number two do you recall the first makeup product that you picked out for yourself and purchased or that was purchased for you yeah I actually do remember the first um, makeup product that I picked out and it was a lip gloss they were the lip glosses that came in a it was almost like made from glass or something and it was the roll-on kind and you could get peppermint spearmint bubble gum they were clear they weren't colored or anything you just glide them on and and they had a mint or bubble gum or something like that eyeliner pencil eyeliner pencil or lip liner pencil and why um i would have to say eyeliner pencil i do love a lip liner pencil um but to be honest i never really wore much of lip liner pencils until now like yeah now i never really bothered with the liner pencil i would always just buy the lipstick and just you know um but i'm loving lip liners now so later who knows that could change but eyeliner for me i really love eyeliners it, it's funny when i was younger i used black that was it black eyeliner nothing else nothing um and then you know now times have changed you can get all these different colors now mally beauty like i do love her ever color eyeliner pencils they're just gorgeous um she has a variety of shades one of my favorite shades is like this uh, sea green color like a like a beautiful tealy blue green it's gorgeous and i am loving those kind of colors to put on my waterline especially if i'm putting it up on top here i always use black or a chocolate brown color those are the two shades i mostly would use up there and then my tight line same kind of thing um, a chocolate or black or something um, but on my lower uh, in the waterline and lower area and stuff I like to use colors um, right now I have lucky penny on for Mally um, it's one that kind of opens and makes your eyes look more open and I really like lucky penny so yeah definitely eyeliners four do you ever go out in public without makeup and why or why not <sighs> i don't like to but yes i have and i do sometimes but no i don't really like to for the most part if i'm going out i will put on uh, my dr dennis 
my Dr. Dennis Hydra Shield moisturizer and quickly just put that on because it kind of hides the pores and dies down the redness that my skin will show because I do get some redness around my cheeks and everything. Um, so for the most part, no, I don't. I am subconscious about certain things, you know, because I do... I just, you know, I've always been like that. When I was younger, oh heck, I would, I, I, I can remember I used to drive my dad and my brother and everybody nuts because it'd be like, you know, we're going to the mall or we're going here or there and I'd be getting ready and, you know, uh, kind of somewhat now, I guess, probably drive my husband and my son nuts though now because they're probably like, oh, you know, I'm quickly getting ready. But I do try to, um, back then I used to like do everything now some sometimes not always sometimes I do like to play with my makeup and still put everything on but sometimes I'll if I'm in a hurry and quick out the door kind of a thing yeah it will be one of them tinted moisturizers I mentioned or one of my CC or BB creams a little bit of concealer um, a quick slap of maybe just a little bit of blush I don't contour and do all those things maybe some mascara and um, pretty much leave my eyelid naked I Mally base stuff on and kind of make my my eyelids just look more brighter because they uh, are kind of a dark darkest shade so all right number five if you could only have one shade of lipstick what would it be and why swatch if you wish Ooh, my gosh oh, it is very hard for me but as much as I love Mally, it has to be one of her lip glosses and lipsticks that I like to use. All right, unfortunately I cannot swatch it and the reason why I can't and I don't really want to is because I would have to dispense this stuff out. I'm not ready to use it yet. I'm trying to save it, but it's one of Mally's um, high shine lipsticks. These are considered her like lipstick, lip gloss, like all in one, there's primer, everything. This shade here is in Blossom, and it is a beautiful, light, pink, nudie, pink shade, and I love these from Mally. Um, I have quite a few here, as a matter of fact. I think, is this one here? This one here is like Pearly Girl. Um, you know, I, I just, I have several several of these and it is so pretty. I, I love these for Mally. So yes, this here. I am sorry I can't swatch it. I'm not ready to use it and I don't want it to go bad on me right, <clears throat> right away. Uh, number six, makeup or skincare and why? Do you think your answer would have been different in your 20s? So makeup or skincare and why? Oh gosh, I love my makeup. I love playing my makeup. I really do. I'm gonna have to really honestly though, go with skincare now because skincare is so important for me as in trying to take care of my skin. I mean, I love my makeup. Skincare is gonna be more important. So I'm gonna have to go with skincare. Now in my 20s, I probably would have said makeup. I probably wouldn't even said skincare. So it probably would have been different. Uh, number seven. What makeup trend do you do when you were? What makeup trend did you do when you were younger that you absolutely absolutely would not do now, and why? Insert picture if you wish. <laughs> oh goodness, I don't think I really have any any pictures of me with any kind of specific makeup trend. Like the only thing I can think of is I never, 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 never touched my eyebrows. I never plucked them. I never did anything. Now I do a little minimum of stuff with them because I did for my first time get them waxed. I'm not sure if I was so big on it for me because too thin of eyebrows for me wasn't getting it for me. Um, I, I think me with thicker eyebrows frames my face better. Some might think differently. I don't know. Maybe it's just I'm used to it and I've dealt with that all my life. 
Number eight, what is the number one makeup tip you would give to mature women as a general rule to help them look younger? I, if, if we're talking about like if somebody came up to me and said, you know, one of the mature ladies said to me, how can I make myself look younger? What should I do? The one thing I would probably definitely tell them is, you know, highlight your face. Like, make sure you do a good bit of highlighting, especially under in here. You know, like something with a more brighter um, a, a product, you know, concealer or, or whatever. Make yourself look a little more awake, like youthful, I guess, to a degree. Um, you know, a little more glowing that kind of a thing. I would probably tell them that, you know, like they could put on some um, uh, highlight, you know, to kind of uh, give them a nice glowy look to help them give that, you know, um, look within glow. But honestly, like I, I, I kind of liked what Olivia said because Olivia sticks to true of what I feel. I'm like Olivia on this part, Makeup Fun with Olivia. Me and her have the same thinking process um, because I personally don't think anything's wrong with what you wear. If you are happy with what you have on and what you put on your face, if you like it um, and you're rocking it, rock it. You know, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and tell somebody you can't wear this or that. Um, I kind of like to stick with the fact of just, you know, like wear what makes you happy. I don't think there really should be rules on what you're allowed to wear and what you're not allowed to wear. That's my personal opinion and that's just, you know, I'm like, I'm like Olivia, like I said on that one, it's just my personal opinion. I, I don't think it would matter, you know, if there's somebody that wants to put some glitter on their eyelids by all means, put that glitter on your eyelids. In the end, it's all about you. And I have always said makeup is an art, in my opinion, in a lot of ways. And, you know, with art, everybody does a different artwork on their canvas when they're ready, when they're putting all this, their whole, uh, painting together you know they use different colors maybe some don't use colors some are more vibrant some are more uh soft you know um that that's that's how i look at it that's my own personal thing in itself and i don't really always i'm not always a big stickler on rules i if i see something uh, of a color that I might like in an eyeshadow, let's say, um, you know, I, I'm going to wear it. Um, if there's somebody that I see that's wearing a color that maybe I wouldn't wear, I'm not going to tell them that they can't wear it. Like if they're maybe even older than me or the same age as me and it's a pretty vivid color or something, if that's, you know, obviously if that's what they want to wear, I say wear it and I'm like her go for it I mean like yeah I mean I think it's pretty cool I think there should be no rule so I say rock on do what you want okay number one skincare tip to help them look younger I think it's very important to exfoliate our skin um, and especially even our face to help remove the dead skin and the cells and all that kind of stuff um, so exfoliating, not over exfoliate, because if you over exfoliate, that's going to do more damage to your skin. But I, I, I think one of the most important things is, is to make sure that you do an exfoliation of some sort uh, on your skin, on your face, uh, at least once a week, if anything. Number nine, which celebrity wore your, your favorite beauty look when you were in your 20s? And which celebrity makeup look do you now admire? J-Lo and J-Lo. <laughs> I always liked Jennifer Lopez. She has been always my biggest, biggest, biggest um, female artist for, I mean, I love her music. I think she's gorgeous. She has a natural gorgeousness to her. Um, 
I think she can rock anything. And I just, I love the glow, that JLo glow, and just, she's gorgeous. So when I was in my 20s, yeah, it would have been Jennifer Lopez. And even now to this day, that girl can rock it. So yes, Jennifer Lopez most definitely for both. <laughs> Number 10, if you were stranded on Gilligan's Island and could only have three makeup products, what would they be and why? Oh my. Three makeup products. You got skincare and makeup. So I guess it's three and three. Is that how I'm understanding that? What three? Yes. What three skincare items would you choose? Okay. So the three makeup items, makeup products, I would probably choose the mascara for sure. I'm gonna say lip gloss, kind of a like kind of like Mally's like thing, because that will help keep my lips more moisturized. And then probably eyeliner. Yeah, I think I'd probably go with the eyeliner because the eyeliner I could do several different things with um, and I would be happy with that. For skincare, I can already tell you, definitely Dr. Dennis Hydra Shield uh, Moisturizer, the Tinted Moisturizer. I'd probably actually take my jojoba oil. I love that stuff. I have fallen in love with that stuff. I seriously don't think I could do without that thing, so I would probably have to take the jojoba oil. And then probably um, a face cleanser. My Mario Badesco, uh, the orange cleansing, the orange cleanser. All right, that is it. That is the tag. If you're watching this and you haven't done it yet, consider yourself tagged and you can tell them that I tagged you. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that very much. It would help me out a lot. If you are not subscribed to my channel, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button that's down below. Down below, somewhere there. And you can join me each week and um, it will be in reference to supplement beauty. And um, always please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, y'all take care and I will see you then. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.